That's not fair. Abolish the White House says U.S. President Donald Trump has not ruled out more sanctions on top Chinese officials. They would come on top of actions this week to punish China for its handling of Hong Kong. Trump signed the Hong Kong Autonomy Act on Tuesday to hold China accountable for its oppressive actions against the people of Hong Kong. It lets the president slap sanctions Hong and visa Kong, limits on Chinese officials and banks involved in imposing Beijing's new national security law for Hong Kong. A person familiar with the matter says discussions of potential targets are ongoing. The source says Hong Kong Chief Executive Carrie Lam is among the names being pushed. On Wednesday, Secretary of State Mike Pompeo said the legislation Trump signed and an executive order ending Hong Kong's special status under U.S. law were justified. General Secretary Xi Jinping made a choice to violate the Chinese Communist Party's promises to Hong Kong in, uh, that were made in a U.N. registered treaty. Uh, he didn't have to do that. He made that choice. We have to deal with China as it is, not as we wish it to be. Later on Twitter, Pompeo noted that Trump said the U.S. would, quote, place a special focus on admitting Hong Kong residents as refugees. On Wednesday, China's top office in Hong Kong slammed this week's U.S. actions, calling Trump's moves, quote, gangster logic and bullying. Beijing has said it will impose retaliatory sanctions against U.S. individuals and entities, and it summoned the U.S. ambassador to China to protest the Hong Kong Autonomy Act.